Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content in Former Pharma Insights. I'm here at the Biotech Showcase meeting, which you know, runs parallel with uh, JPM, uh, which is the, the meeting that starts at the beginning of the year in San Francisco, where the great and the good, the moves and the shakers of pharma, medtech and biotech all get together. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Garth Sutherland, who's the, uh, the CEO of Adherium, uh, an Auckland, New Zealand-based company. You describe yourselves as a digital health business. Now, you know, digital health is one of these you know, terms that's bandied around and, and can actually mean a whole myriad of different things. So when you describe yourself as digital health, you sort of just you know, give us a quick rundown of what you actually mean by that. Yeah, well, we have a, well, a connected platform, Mike. So we have a, we have a device a platform called the Smart Inhaler, and that's, this is part of it here. So this is a, an, an electronic medical device that's recorded. Here's a standard drug from a pharmaceutical. So that's just a, a normal conventional inhaler? Inhaler. Yeah. And it's essentially a piece of plastic in a can with drug in it. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't tell the patient how they're using their drug, what their usage patterns are. It doesn't remind them to use their medication. Yeah. So we produce this uh, digital health platform, which has three so major that's, parts. So that's your bit of kit? Yeah, this is one part of our platform. So this is a medical device that clips onto the outside of the inhaler yeah. and then records automatically records usage of the drug and then automatically uploads that to a smartphone app on a smartphone, iPhone, tablet, where the patient can see it, they can share it with their doctor, and that also sends it back to the cloud where all that data is looked after, stored and analysed and reported. So that's the digital health piece, it's that whole connected platform for us. Right, so, so that's useful in terms of like compliance, just to make sure that the, the patient's doing this. Uh, yeah. But that, that's when the, 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 the drug is already approved. But you know, I can imagine that might be useful in clinical trials, where again, it's actually really, really important to ensure that you have compliance of the subjects in, in, in a clinical trial. Very useful in clinical trials where electronic data capture is the gold standard, sure. most accurate type of information. But the biggest use, of course, is for management of chronic diseases like asthma and COPD. And in particular, through our digital health solution, we've, we can show great clinical outcomes for the patient. So huge reduction in exacerbations, right. adult asthma. We yeah. can restore child lung function to normal reduction in rescue medication usage for children with asthma. It's a major platform for driving outcomes for patients with is, chronic is, disease. Is there any sort of feedback where it actually sends a message back to the patient saying, you haven't taken your meds or? Yeah, provides feedback directly to the patient at point of drug use. Yeah. It does that on the device and it does that on the app as well. Right. And then that can be also shared with a a care organisation like a disease management organisation and so on and, the, and with the doctor of course but it absolutely provides audio and visual reminders to the patient and that really encourages adherence through encouraging adherence we get a major gain in clinical outcomes. Okay so, so how, how do you commercialise that smart inhaler? So we're a B2B company and we have been marketing our technology to the big drug companies. Right. And last year we signed a 10 year supply agreement with AstraZeneca right. to provide them with our smart inhaler technology for distribution by them yeah. into the global marketplace. Right. So we sell to the big drug companies, also to the big medical device companies and to the providers, the hospitals, the disease management companies and so on. So there's no, there's no need to have any kind of exclusivity around, I mean, you know, if it's an, for an asthma inhaler, you wouldn't sort of just tie it one, one asthma drug, you know, uh, company, you, you could do it with lots of different companies? We can, we're, we're free to, to, to provide our techno technology to multiple companies. Yeah. With AstraZeneca, we did provide some exclusivity around their blockbuster drug, Simbacort. Yeah. But aside from that, we're free to sell uh, into other drug companies right. and into other sectors as well. Right, okay. So, so this is, uh, you, you describe it as a platform. So yeah. what, other, what other things are you, you know, planning to develop? Well, the big thing about this platform is it generates lots of data. Yeah. So we have smart inhalers just in over 30 countries right now. And all of those smart inhalers are generating data and bringing that back to our servers where we're able to see incredible things about how patients are using their medications. In fact, it's game changing from that perspective. When you see all the variation in how patients use their medications, 
almost becomes impossible to treat a patient without an understanding of that. Right. Um, so um, data is one big thing. The next big thing is these building blocks, these digital health building blocks are extensible into other chronic diseases beyond respiratory as well. Right, right. Okay, so you mentioned about, you know, it, it, it can sort of like, you know, track usage, etc. Yeah. So, so do you have or do you plan to have like insurance companies or, you know, the sort of the single, uh, you know, things like the National Health Service in the UK? W w would these be sort of potential you know, partners? Absolutely. And we're already selling into NHS hospitals, for example. Right. And the reason is because that they're interested is because the product has clinical outcomes. Yeah. So in adult asthma, 60% reduction in serious, severe exacerbations. Uh, in children, huge reduction in exacerbations, reduction in rescue medication usage. So all of that, um, you know, without that, there's these diseases cause additional burden on, on the payers. So this is a tool for reducing that burden, that health economic burden. Okay, so you're a listed company. Yes, we listed last year. In uh, Australia. Australia, yep. yeah. And so, so what, what's the plan to grow the company? How, how are you going to grow the company bigger than it is at the moment? Yeah, so we're obviously promoting our technology to the drug company market and into the other market segments as well, the global medical device segment, and into the, the providers and the payers right. segment. We're also expanding internationally, so we're setting up hubs here in the United States. We're setting up a hub in Europe, so we can provide a market support. So, And then growing the business in terms of all the data we're receiving, monetizing that data, and then ultimately taking the technology into other chronic diseases beyond respiratory as well. Right, right, okay, great, well Garth, Thanks for coming around and uh, you know, explaining the story. Thank you, Mike. Cheers. Appreciate it. Good luck. Yes, thank you.